Which one is Andy? I mean the third girl. You mean Cassandra? The tall shape one from Enugu. The one with the big bum bum now. Okay, I remember. How are you gonna take forget the big nash? Okay, I get serious. I'm serious. I'm not joking. Okay. Did she say the same thing? Yes, she did. They say you're a cool guy, no doubt. But when it comes to love making, it's as if your mind is elsewhere. Even Cassandra told me at some point while making love to her, you had glazed eyes. Initially, she thought it was the alcohol until you called her another name. I did what? You called her another woman's name. They say you're a good guy, no doubt. But when it comes to love making, it's as if your mind is elsewhere. Even if Cassandra told me at some point why making love to her, you had glazed eyes. Initially, she thought it was the alcohol until you called another name. Together forever, you promised. Together forever. How do I explain this to anyone? I don't understand why he wants to see me. Well, after the night vigil, he said he would like to see you. For what? I... I told him about your your problems, and I asked him to pray for you. What are you talking about? What problem? Am I sick? Or did I tell you I have a health challenge? Even if I have one, I know the way to the hospital. God forbid. You can never be sick in Jesus' name. I rebuke every spirit of ill health in your life in Jesus' name. You are not sick. Mother, you called me this morning that I should meet you up early. Yes? Yes. You sounded as if it's an emergency. As a matter of fact, you said it's a matter of life and death. I still don't understand. I don't know what you told your pastor that made him say he wants to see me. Uh, the truth is that I told him about your failed relationships and how the devil has been blocking you from finding a wife and having your own children. That is what I told him. So is this the matter of life and death you caught me for? Yes. Life, because I need you to bring in new life to this world uh, uh, with my grandchildren. Yes. Then death. Because if you do not do this in the next one year, I will kill myself. Mother, what, what is going on? Because I don't understand. 
the only reason I tell you things about my personal life is because you're my mother. And as it stands now, you're my best friend. I did not tell you things about myself for you, for you to go discuss me with your pastor or your church members now. If I don't tell my pastor, who else will I tell? Eh? I told him all these things because I want him to pray for you. That's why I told him. Why do I need prayers from your pastor or your church members for my personal life? It is my business. Ah, you are a small boy. You don't know anything. You are asking why a man anointed by God should pray for you. Yeah. Don't you know that he has a spiritual insight on, on things like that? Anointed by God. Who was there when he was anointed? This is the kind of fallacies that I hate. I hate it. See, mom. I had a long day. And I have a lot of things to do once I get home. This is not part of it. I want you to know this. From now, I will never tell you anything that concerns my personal life. So you don't go discuss me with your women with him. So I have now become a gossip. I never said that. I will send you the money I promised you. And I will send it back to your account. I don't want money. I want children. Give me children. I, I will need to see my grandchildren. Let me carry them. I will not leave you. I will not allow you to rest until you change your ways. Can you hear me, Eka? Eh? Talk to him. He will not listen. All he talks about is money, money, money. Now for some time, I they get this kind of headache. They think not to try to give me mental problem. I don't know, try to get my medic. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Today was so nice. <sighs> You're welcome to my house. Oh. This is my home. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Very beautiful. You like it? I, I love it. Are you sure? Yes. But I think I love you more. And I want you to make love to me. Are you sure? I'm more than sure. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is wrong? Fine. Let's go inside. Okay. okay. <laughs> Why you they call me all night? You know this sleep. What was the time? Where have you been? I've been calling you all night. Where else should I be? I'm in my house. Where are you? I can see you. have been painting the town red all night. I thought you said your wife to be doesn't allow you to go out at night again. She did, but it's a special night, so she gave me a free pass. And that's why I've been calling you to hook up with you wherever you are. 
What are you talking about? Congrats, my brother. Congrats. I will, I will call you when I'm fully up, okay? So I will take you out and... That's why you're my nigga. Alright. Take you, man. My regards to her. Hi. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Who is this one? Thank you. Are you not eating? No. No, please, Father. I don't want you to lose weight. <laughs> Hi. Good morning, sleepyhead. <sighs> Good morning. When I woke up and I didn't see you, I thought you've left already. No. Um, I woke up hungry after effects of too much alcohol. I'm sorry. I hope you don't mind I was in your kitchen. No, no problem. Enjoy. Thank you. Um, breakfast will be ready in 30 minutes. Why don't you go in and freshen up? Okay. Sorry, I didn't ask what your name is. Oh, my name is Mary. Mary Lazarus. I am Dozier. Dozier Obi. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. It's all right. <laughs> Let me freshen up, all right? Yes, you should do that. Take care of yourself. <clears throat> Mom, I'll go and see him. Don't get too excited. I'm only going there to see him and talk. That's all. Take care of yourself. You are dressed? Yes. Food is ready. I'm sorry, I have to leave now. I have an emergency. Oh, um, that means I have to get dressed too. No, no, no. You can stay if you want. Are you sure? Yes. If I may ask, is this how you leave random girls in your house? No. You are not random anymore. You just prepared me breakfast. <laughs> You're very funny. <laughs> and that's why I, I like you. I have to go now, okay? Are you sure you want to leave all this at home? 
<laughs> Very tempting. But I have to go. Okay? So that means you owe me two? I owe you two, how? Last night, you didn't touch me. And you kept on mumbling like you were in a trance or something. I guess it's just the alcohol. I'll make it up to you when I come back. Okay. okay. So that means you want me to stay. Yes, ma. Please stay. <laughs> I'll see you when I come back, okay? Okay. Bye. Have a good day. You too. I'm sorry I came to see you on a short notice. It's okay. You see, your mother has been a great member of this congregation for years now. Whatever troubles her affects the church. She told me about your worries in your relationships. Pastor, you see, my mother worries a lot. Mm. If she had her way, I would have been married at the age of 19. It's all right. Every good mother worries about her children. Sometimes too much. <laughs> In your case, you're an only child. Mm. Yes. Only child. I wasn't always. I know. She told me about that tragedy. You said you wanted to discuss something with me. <clears throat> you see, Pastor, I will have you promise me that whatever I discuss with you will not get my mother's hearing. Sure. Oga, what do you do, Mamsi? What you should tell us I do again? Oh, Mamsi called me. Since since yesterday, she didn't call you. I'm not taking your calls. You know what's up with Mamsi now? She can't disturb Africa. What do you mean? I got tired of taking her calls, so I got to rest. Okay, stop that nonsense, so. See, make I tell you, if that woman get high BP, I don't go forgive you. What is this? Okay, is she your mother? What do you mean? Oga, okay, she's my mother. Since I know gay mama, we are sharing the same mother. Me and who? Me and you. Okay, let me tell you, do you think it's because I like you too much? That's why we are like this. Okay, because we share the same mama. See this one? Yeah. <clears throat> Guy. I can tell you one thing. No, be me telling somebody go use your mother for rituals. Come by fire, you dear. <laughs> the man, mm -hmm. If anybody look you like this, <laughs> you to say you were. You know normal, oh. You think you're normal? No problem. I don't know my boy. You still like me like that. Who like you? Me like you? <laughs> you must be joking. Okay. I'm just managing you. I hear you. God knows, I'm just managing you. Mm. Manager told you. <laughs> okay. Eh? I understand you. What do your phone call, Mama, please? Call her. I beg. Okay. See, the truth of the matter is this. Mousy can't disturb. She gave me over 50 missed calls yesterday. Guy, I kept answering her. At the time, I got tired. I have to rest. Because she kept asking me the same question. Like, ah, Mousy, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> call Mama. Hey, hey. Uh, Mousy called me. She said that uh, you have gone to see Pastor Mike. How far? Yes, I did. How did you go? Tell me, what, what did he say? What kind of nonsense question is that? What do you mean? So I should tell you what I discussed with the man. Why would you tell me? As what? As your brother. I should now tell you, you that is unofficial second son, will now run and tell my mother everything that I discussed don't with the man. Don't ever try call me that name again. Oga. Oga, make I tell you. No, don't try me. Oh. <laughs> try it. See this guy. Hi, hi, baby. Hi. My love, I am so sorry. Traffic was hell. But I promise you, in less than 30 minutes, dinner will be served. It's alright. No problem. What is it? Yes, how far? Who is this guy? Calm down, Oga. Okay? You're a married man. Where do you meet? Oga, okay, calm down. Okay, don't get sad. Jesus. 
house. Wait, wait. Now, so you didn't take marry your wife? No, 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 no. Where is see this girl? How do you mean where I see this girl? Now, my girl, what's up? Give me five. Guy. This one. Oh, that was ten hours again now. I'm scared. Don't be. You promised me. You said I was. You said I will be. I'm 